I'm just relaxing a little bit. And I wanted to come on and ask a favor of anyone who watches this video. We have to get the word out about all of these horrible, disgusting animals who are pillars in quotations, in our societies, business owners, small towns and big towns, authority figures who are either covering up for child and human trafficking or partaking in or both and nothing's getting done to them. And what I'm talking about on this personal small scale level here is that Sean Williams guy. And I've made several videos about it. I've, I've, I'm trying to call him the Appalachian Epstein. And I'm trying to get the word around. And I'm trying to get like just one channel with some traction. To hear about this. To respond. To talk about it. It's a huge story. A hu huge hidden covered up conspiracy that has happened in Johnson City, Tennessee. This man is in jail right now awaiting trial on over 50 charges of just children, I'm pretty sure, over 50 of child pornography. Hundreds, hundreds of charges altogether against women, drugging women, assaulting women uh there's also drug charges there is illegal weapons charges there is i don't know what else uh money laundering um just sexual assault on children on women on incapacitated women there's cover-up charges there's i'm sure there's major like federal tax evasion i mean this man is a horrible horrible animal and like i said the other day now 13 members or former members of the johnson city police department tied to a federal lawsuit that's been filed connecting him to them and him even making some statements from uh, his prisons or his jail cell or from his court appearances that he was paying some of these police officers up to $2,000 a week to stay quiet on everything that he was doing. I'm telling you, I think that this was a major trafficking outfit right there in East Tennessee. I mean, Johnson City, Interstate 26 runs right through Johnson City. And this dude was a business owner. This is a huge, huge story. And it is just not getting enough traction. And I know that I'm like beating a dead horse. I know that every time I come on here and I say something about it, I say the same thing. It's not getting enough traction. And it's just not. You know, they're getting ready to release... A list of, I guess, 138 names of people uh, attached to Jeffrey Epstein in some form or fashion. And January is uh, Child and Human Sex Trafficking Awareness Month. So, I'm coming on here to ask a favor. Any of you all who are, your, you know, my, my fellow keyboard warriors... You ladies especially, I know, who listen to me and follow me. If you could just, if you go onto any of those other channels and bigger people are talking about Jeffrey Epstein, you know, if you go on any of those and you're watching those videos or those live streams, will you please mention it in the either the chat rooms or in the comments? For somebody, please, to pay attention to this Sean Williams story. 
You don't have to call him the Appalachian Epstein if you don't want to. But just mention that it's Sean Williams, it's Johnson City, Tennessee, and it's a huge cover-up. I'm calling him the Appalachian Epstein. I hope that one of these days it'll get the traction that it needs to help to put this man and all the other people who were helping him behind bars and I hope that it will help Cat Daw, the investigator who turned into a whistleblower when she was fired from her job for trying to investigate and get to the bottom of it. You know, that lady hasn't gotten any recognition whatsoever and she needs it and she deserves it and this man needs to be in prison for the rest of his life and everybody who was attached to him needs to be in prison as well whether they never abused a child or not if they hid it if they hid if they knew what was happening and they didn't do anything about it and they turned a blind eye or they took bribes they're still guilty Something needs to be done. Much love.